Hey guys, it's Angel B here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In today's video, we are looking at some furniture decor mods for Minecraft. These are for 1.19.2 onwards to 1.20.1. This first one is 1.19.2 specifically and it works with older versions too. So before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and let's get right into this video. So this first Minecraft mod is called Necoration and this is a really pretty aesthetic building and decor mod for Minecraft. It adds a whole bunch of cute things that would be perfect for making cafes. And it also adds a bunch of different color timber woods in basically all the colors you can get in Minecraft. It adds little plant pots in, it adds little pots in different colors, little signs, which you can edit, you can change the colors of, you can add glowing text and you can do both sides. It adds some new doors, some shelves where you can display items. It adds little window frames, flowers, and little, I don't know what these are called, framing. Some flowers you can hang up and these type of shelves too, cabinets which come in whole different colors, which show the items which are inside, which is so cool. It adds a bunch of chairs. This is cute little cafe tables. Uh, benches, bedside tables, in all the wood colors in Minecraft. Here, if we go to the tab, there's a bunch of stone blocks like these pillars here in different colors. Here is all the wooden blocks. You can select which color you would like. And there's so many different ones. The windows and the doors, there's different glass types and doors. And then the decoration blocks, there's planters. These things here, which are really cute. Bunch of tables, chairs, cabinets, shelves. And there's also a painting in this mod. You can choose the size of your painting like this, and then you can take a palette, which is here. And you can draw a design on this painting. The colors, you can change the shade, the transparency. There is feathers, you can load image, save painting, add transparency different brushes. So that is so cool. It's such a cool feature within this Minecraft mod. There is a bunch of little candle holders and what looks like little chandeliers. So I highly recommend checking out this mod for building because it adds some really unique things that you can't really get in other Minecraft mods, such as the window frame. This next Minecraft mod is called Seafoam's Diable Blocks. And this makes it so there's all these blocks here. They're completely blank from different textures in the game, such as glowstone, concrete, brick, terracotta, wool, glass, and even iron bars, and a few others. To dye these, what you wanna do is take a paintbrush, which you can craft, and then you just add the dye of your choosing, and here we have a red paintbrush. You could add blue to it to get purple, add white to make it a lighter purple. So there's so many color combinations you could do right now. You just take the paintbrush, go over to the blocks, and dye it. So this is colored glowstone. Concrete bricks and here's an orange one a red one a pink one the possibilities with colors are literally endless and it keeps the texture of the block for example the wood here if you wanted a pink wood now you can craft it in loads of different shades as well as glass to match iron bars to even match that so there's so many color possibilities you could do here i love the bricks the bricks are so pretty so be sure to check this mod out. It's so simple and lets you have way more color freedom within the game. This next Minecraft mod is called City Decor and it adds a bunch of city themed decor such as steel blocks, cardboard boxes, which are act as storage. We've got reinforced concrete and concrete powder. We've got these, we've got these trap doors in different glass. We've got stronger fences. We've got reinforced scaffolding. And these blocks, which are my favorite, they're called sidings. We've got mossy bricks. This is cracked concrete. And we also have bricks in a bunch of different colors, as you can see here, and even terracotta bricks. So there is just a bunch of city themed decor. There is frames if you wanna do construction. So I highly recommend this mod for building. So are you tired of basic kitchens in Minecraft. Now you don't need to be with the more decor cookery. 
So this series of mods is called More Dakar and there is a bunch of different ones. I have a couple to show you here, such as science and art one where it all has different items related to the themes. But this is cookery, which means it's for the kitchen. It adds a whole bunch of Dakar items related to kitchen and it includes a bunch of placeable foods as well. And even little Dakar items such as this, which is a little rolling pin. These cabinets you can open. It adds a little coffee maker, a blender. These are all just decoration purposes. It adds a fridge, an oven, a bunch of little items such as frying pans, little wall decorations for cups. So here are all the items. There's hamburgers, even milk, and then a bunch of cabinets. Here is the hamburger and the milk. It's a really cool Minecraft mod if you just want a bit more decoration in the game. And the next one we have is a new one called More Decor Garden. And this adds garden themed decor items related to the kitchen one. Same creator, but just garden themed. So we have a grill, lawnmower, little dog house, dog food, dog beds, planters, which you can put all plants inside here. We've got feeding troughs, we've got a beehive, this little park bench and these little umbrellas in a bunch of different colors, some pavements, some little eggs, a watering can, just a bunch of little decor items you can completely transform your garden with in Minecraft. Just, you know, you can't really interact with these items, but they're perfect for decoration purposes. Next up, we've got the plushie mod. This mod adds a whole bunch of little plushies to the game. It is so cute. It's like all the item, all the creatures within the game have their own plushies. You can craft these with just wool and an item from that creature. It's pretty simple and just adds little trophy style plushies to the game. So next up is one of my favorites. It is Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. And this adds a whole bunch of decor, such as garden stuff, kitchen, desks, sofas. And a lot of these are modular. So for example, if we take the sofa, we can like make different shapes with it like this. The same with the desk. We can make the desk as long as we would like. It adds a little mailbox, which you can place at your house. It adds a grill, which also adds a spatula and you can flip the items you place on the grill like this to flip them. And then once they're cooked, you can pop them off. This requires coal to cook. It adds these little crates, which you can lock and open. These pack benches, which you can make, which you can make as long as you'd like. You can open the cabinets like this. It has a fridge and a freezer as well kitchen drawers and they have animations but you can't really see them because it opens the ui a sink and these all come in all the different colored woods this little mailbox is related to this post box here you can send mail to people you would add a little letter here and then you click send to the mailbox that is in the minecraft world so you can send posts to multiple people in your game, which is so cool. So next up, we've got a pretty simple mod called Macaws Paths and Pavements. And this is perfect and goes along with any garden decor mod because it just transforms your garden or cities. And there's these blocks too. And all of the different stones and wood panel here, you can create little paths going through woods or going through your garden. You can make them as big as you would like as the pattern is repetitive. It's just so simple and really does transform your Minecraft house or garden. Another mod by Makar is Makar's furniture mod. And this is a very, very modular furniture mod. It adds all the single blocks to the game, such as double draws, triple draws, wardrobe blocks, and they all come as a single block like this. But what you can do is you can make these as big as you'd like and they'll all connect. The same for the wardrobes. You can make them as tall as you'd like. And the bookshelves, the same thing. It adds some chairs in different materials, some tables, desks, which are very modular as well. We've got these glass tables, which you can literally make into any shape you would like. And we've also got kitchen counters which everything opens and everything is literally modular. So next up, the next furniture mod is called Cozy Home. And this again adds some kitchen counters. And what I like about these ones is the little countertops, uh, like this one, brick and wood. It's so pretty. It's like one of my favorite countertops. It also adds these huge clocks, which if you right click, will tell you the time, not in real life, but in game. 
although that doesn't seem very accurate. But they're really cool decoration and this one is very annoying. We have a mirror and when you click on it, you can see your skin. It adds a tent which you can open and close. It adds some wandering trader carpet, some glass chairs, some little stumpy tables and these really cool chairs which are sofas but they're not modular but they still look really cute. It adds some quartz furniture too such as these quartz chairs and everything comes in all of the wood types in the game. So lastly this is one of my favourites. This is called fantasy furniture and it's very fantasy themed furniture in the game. I'll just show you a quick look at it here. As you can see, you get all the same items in different styles. So here we have Born Furniture, we have Witherborn, Royal, Necrolard Furniture, also Dumner, Dunmer Furniture and Nordic and then a bunch of placeable items. So here is some examples. I'm obsessed with this. Look how cute this little corner is. You can open the counters. There is an oven too, which is like a furnace. We have little lock boxes. You can place these books up here, like modular. It adds some little skull blossoms, some lanterns, different paintings, a bunch of items up here, like foods. It adds a jar, which you can store cookies in. It adds a little table and chairs, again, in all the different materials, bookshelves, chests, and even beds which you can actually sleep in. It adds some carpets, Nordic carpet, and then we've got Necrolod carpets, some herbs, and this is a wardrobe topper to give it a bit more detail. So this is a really cool Minecraft mod if you want a bit more of a fantasy style furniture to your game, which the others seem quite vanilla themed. So I saved the best. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please tell me your favorite and give me suggestions that you want me to look at. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.